full board of calls already. We've got no chance of getting through them all before 9 o'clock, but let's get organised for talkback and uh, we'll start taking calls. Melbourne Big, the greater communicator. Come on, give Tone a tingle. As we're in the live situation, it's a little bit more complicated to get the calls to air, but uh, between Chris and Ronnie, they're getting it organised. We have we got calls now, Ron? Can we go? First caller's ready to talk to you. You're talking to Tony. Go ahead, please. Hello? Yeah, good day. Yeah, who's this? Who's this? Hello? Is, it, is this caller dropped out already? Hello? That first caller has dropped out. We've lost him, I think. We'll go to the next call, Ron. We've got one there. Next caller. Go ahead, please. You're talking to Tony. Hello? Tony, Mazel Tov, it's Jaime. Jaime, how are you this evening? Oh, very sad, Tony. It's a sad day, huh? Oh, well, well, there's a bit of melancholy about it, but let's not become too downcast. Tony, let's not forget uh, the silver lining. Uh, you're going, but uh, the investigators are going too. Yes. <laughs> you know, Tony, those women tried to get me for years. Yes, I know that. But Helen gone, Inga gone. Yes. And me, Tony. Yeah. Still, I am a rich man. <laughs> idle, 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 idle. Right. Uh, well, that, well, that, yeah, that, well, that is the silver lining, I suppose, to you, Jaime. Have you, have you got anything that uh, is coming up that is legitimate that um, perhaps we can just give a bit of a plug to um, for next year? Well, uh, you know, Tony, I, uh, I, I got a lot of new opportunities with Mr. Kenneth here in Victoria. Yeah. All kinds of great business opportunities. Mm -hmm. Lots of market now for police battles. Yes, very so much. For our, but, you know, for the Grand Prix. Yes, yes. Fair. Well, well, Tony, we had, we had some great times, huh? Yeah, we had some, well, we had some wonderful times, Jaime, but, uh, you know, they have to come to an end. Uh, you remember the, the, when I got my idiot son Herman to print up those uh, Def Leppard t-shirts? Yeah, but he didn't actually print up Def Leppard, did he? He spelled them correctly. <laughs> the, yes, that's right. But then we made the killing when we changed uh, the F to an R and the, the P to an N and we remarketed those Dear Leonard t-shirts. That, 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 well, Def Leppard had their time, Jaime. Jaime, what, what, what other wonderful things have you How's your wife? Is it Hilda? I can't remember. I was going to ask you what she was called. <laughs> was it Hilda? <laughs> no, Heidi. Was Heidi. Heidi, that's right. I was oh, still supporting her idiot mother in the, the Montefiore old folks home, Tony. <laughs> really? Good on you, Heidi. Mean. Listen, Tony, just to go, yep. a very quick, uh, quick poem that I think expresses the feeling of the evening. Okay. 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 Here I go. Those were the days, my friend, we thought they'd never end. We'd sing and dance forever and a day. Mm. We lived the life we choose. Thank you, Comrade Helen. We'd win and never lose. Goodbye, Comrade Johansen. <laughs> Those were the days, dear Tony. Oh, Those were the days. That's a Oh, thank you. I'm Mazel Tov, Jaime, and... Uh, One of our regular you, callers. May you just him, uh, right. operate legitimately <laughs> <laughs> without, without the, the scrutiny of the, the investigators. That's let's, right. Let's go to the next... Let's go to the next call. We've got one there, Ronnie. We, yes, next call. Go ahead, please. You're talking to Tony. Hello. Oh, yeah. G'day, Tony. Yes, it's this. Yeah, mate. It's Cole, mate. Oh, good evening, Cole. How are you? Oh, yeah. I've been, been racking my brains all week, mate. Yeah. Where are you calling from? Cameraman, mate. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I've been... Uh, well, you know, you know, my number one, uh, you know, I drive a cab. Yeah. Well, I've been, uh, I've been doing a lot of good work with uh, Greg Matthews over the last couple of weeks. With Greg Matthews? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Working the topic, Greg Matthews. Oh, working the, the topic, cab. Greg Matthews, sorry. Yeah, I, I find, a, I find the, 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 the Greg Matthews line does a very nice two-hander with Dean Jones. Uh, well, what's what's the Greg Matthews? Oh, one? you know, when are they going to give Matthews a go? When's Jones going to stop winching? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, it's a very... But, of course, you know, my number one, you know, they've ruined me on my number one. Now, what was your number one? My number one was what's Channel 9 going to do with Yana. <laughs> yes, well, they've done something with Yana. <laughs> and I've been working, I've been trying to work out a new one. I've gone with, uh, this week I've been going with, so, uh... What do you think Channel 7 will do with the owner after this man's going to do it? Actually, now... It hasn't been the same, though, yeah. Actually, Cole, uh, yeah. you were going to... You had the five big topics um, that uh, you, you'd run by your cab... Uh, you, the people in your cab. One was certainly, what's Channel 9 going to do about Yana? Well, that's <laughs> what's Channel 7 going to do about Yana? Another one was 
Oh, that slippery slime Keating, huh? Yeah. Uh, there was the other one about... Carmen, was Carmen Lawrence? Yeah. Well, how had the Carmen Lawrence one go? Oh, mate, I'm not using any of my material on your uh, program anymore. Oh, but, no, no, the reason... The reason <laughs> now I, that you've been axed, I mate. Yeah, the reason I was going uh, to do it, though, I was just going to ask you... Yeah. One of your topics uh, in the Sydney cabs was, well, what do you think about the Cooter Beans going? Yeah. You had that one go over? Yeah, it's been going good. Really? People have been saying it's fantastic, <laughs> and I've been saying you're darn right. <laughs> about five years overdue for mine. <laughs> anyway, it wasn't why I rang up. No. Because uh, there's no point using good material on your program anymore. Right, good point, God. What I rang up was uh, I was driving uh, earlier. I heard a bloke ran in uh, from New Zealand. Yeah, that's right. Now, look, could you give him a ring back? Well, yeah, we'll do uh, I want him to go down to Auckland. Right. Five or six blokes uh, back in 1991, Bondi. Right. They were biggish blokes. Right. They jumped out of the cab in Bondi in 1991. It was a $19.75 fare and they never paid it. <laughs> right. Now, we, I was at the video shop the other day. They got out this video and I saw these blokes on it and it was in Auckland. Yeah. Yeah, the video was called Once Were Warriors. <laughs> right. Can you get your bloke to go to that pub out in Auckland and find those? <laughs> they're, it, they're, easy to, they're easy to find. They've got tattoos on their faces. <laughs> right, okay. Babs. <laughs> Perhaps you just might have to say goodbye to the 1975, I think, Cole. I just don't, I just don't think I'd be going down to see any blokes that were in Once Were Warriors. But in, in fact, in well, fact, we'll send you the 1975 from our last fee, I think, rather than go down to an Auckland pub and look for those blokes. Oh, all right. Uh, uh, oh, I think he's got his message across. That yeah. call's dropped off. We'll go we're talking to Tony. Hello. Hello, Tony. Yes, who's this? It's me. Yes, can you just identify yourself for the last time? Well, I haven't in the past. Why should I start now? Yes, well, good evening, Helen. How are you? Tony? Mm hmm? 28th of April, not. Hello? I think someone just, 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 someone oh. just, someone just dropped out there. We've lost Helen there. Well, oh, yeah. oh, 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 well no. we'll go to the next call. Next caller now. We've got one, Ronnie. Let's go to the next call. We'll s see how we go. Do you want to press the button? Hang on, I, 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 can, I can just hear phones and whatever going. No. Ronnie, it's just good to see you back at the helm one more time after all of no, these. No, it is years. difficult, Tony, when we're in the live situation. We're not in the comfort of the studio. No, that's, very, that, 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 that's very true. Uh, let, let's, uh, let's move to the next call. That one must have dropped out okay, for some right reason or other. Go ahead, please. You're talking to Tony. Okay. No, no. <laughs> no, there's, no, there's no person there. Okay, well, if there's, there's no, if there's, no, are we finished talk back for the night? Because I'd actually no, like Tony. to cut it short. It's uh, it's only 18 minutes away from the nine o'clock news, and uh, we can, we've got a lot of callers. We can probably talk to all of them, Tony. So you're not getting out of it that easy. It is your last, your last one. Yep. Okay. Right here. Well, I think we've got another caller now. Go ahead, please. Okay. Hello. No. Tony. Hello. Yes. Sorry, Tony. Oh, well, yes. I had I had young Damien, that's uh, Joan's youngest, she's a single mum that lives down the road. Yes, I'm aware of that. And he sat on the phone. Oh, good fun. Well, tell Damien he shouldn't do that while he's, um, his mother's friend's talking to me. Now, you're going to mention something to me, Helen. What is it? Yes, Tony, it's that date in April. Yeah, what date? You know the date. 28th of April? Yes. Oh, yeah, OK. Well, it sounds fine by me, but what's so special about it? Da, 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 da. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, Helen, you're getting married. See you there, Tony. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> nothing of it. We might have to take that one off air, right, Tony, think, I Ron. think, Ron? We'll keep that caller on hold. You can perhaps talk to her during the news. Well, I th <laughs> whatever that was about, obviously you know some more about it than me or the listeners. Calls, I think we'll I think. keep moving from very and quickly. And try to keep them to more general topics. Yes, I think not so. Not so much personal stuff to do okay, with Okay, no things. worries. Next caller. Go ahead, please. Hello. Yeah, g'day, Tony. Oh, yes. Who's that? Yeah, Donnie here, mate. Hello, Donnie. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm going to get personal. You are going to get personal? Yeah. Well, get personal. Yeah. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Hobart. Well, from Hobart, right. Where are you? <laughs> we're not there. We're in Melbourne tonight. I've been down here since Thursday waiting for you to do your show. <laughs> me and Nobby, me and Nobby come all the way down from Devonport. And there's no sign of you blokes. No, no. Well, we're just, we're just not doing it from the dock tonight. We're actually doing it... Uh... Well, just as well, pal. Why is that? Because that lady in your street that you call a silly old... Bag? Yeah. Where? Well, what about her? That's my mum. <laughs> <laughs> Has she been telling you about me? Yeah. Well, look, oh, look I, I, I meant it endearingly. 
Die, yeah? Yeah. Well, I'll take it. Oh, I get Nobby to be in deer in the year in a minute, mate. <laughs> right, okay, good. <laughs> hey, fatso. Oh, <laughs> Oh, look, I think that's a bit hey. uncalled for. Yeah. Where are you? We're in Melbourne tonight. Yeah? Yeah. Have you been in Melbourne all week? Uh, most of it, yeah. Walking up and down your street. <laughs> yes, I've been doing a bit of walking up and down my street. Because my mum tells you to keep walking. That's exactly <laughs> right. She certainly does. So you've been there all week. You're walking up and down your street. Yeah, that's right. You are a stupid kid. Uh, <laughs> good, good, fine, OK. Look, oh, I, yeah. I'll I, tell you what you should have done. What's that? Walk down the MCG. Yeah, why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Well, if you'd walked down the MCG, you would have seen Booney! <laughs> yeah. Booney! Haven't mentioned him once, have you? No, haven't. No, nah, been... more reason to get stuck in the old lady in your street. <laughs> no, look... And not turn up down here to see us at Hobart. No, look, hang on. Don't... Mate, mate. Yeah. We have, we have come down in Nobby's car. Yeah. With a trailer on. With a trailer on? Four o'clock. Right, We're going to have a drink with you. Yeah, well, um, look, I, I apologise, and if I can just apologise to everyone down in Hobart tonight. And what about Bernie? Apologise to him. Oh, all right, well, I'm sorry, Bernie, that Mind I... Mind you, me and Nobby didn't mind. Why didn't you mind? Oh, I bet. Well, there were people that bagged him. Why? Said he battered too long. Well, he did actually bat a bit long, I Took thought. Took 363 minutes to reach his centre. That's right, yeah. Well, that's cool. Me and Nobby? Yeah. We had a beer. Yeah. For every minute he was at the <laughs> crease. <laughs> Are you a bit hazy from 80 onwards? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, okay, right here. I think that's why it seems so slow. Yeah, well, it, yes, well, it, it was. But look, Donnie, look, thanks th thanks very much for calling through the years. Um, yeah, apologise to Hobart. Yeah, apologise to Hobart. Apologise to Bernie. Yeah, and apologise to your mum who lives up the street from you. Apologise to mum. Okay, what's mum's name? Mrs Nobby. <laughs> <laughs> that then makes you and Nobby brothers. We are from Tasmania, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Not look, bad thinking on your feet then, Donnie, I thought. Look. Next caller, go ahead please. You're talking to Tony on Sunday Night Talk Back with the Could Have Been Champions. Hello. Hello, Tony. Yes. Yes, it's Big Tony. Oh, good evening, Big. How are you? Well, I thought I'd ring because it's your last uh, program. That's right. We haven't heard from you in such a long oh, time. Oh, not a long time because, uh, of course... Um, what with the changes over here, mm. I'm not in the public sector anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> Where, oh, you got from South Africa to privatisation, it's all the go here too, you know. Yeah. Yes, I'm a consultant now. Oh, you're, oh good. So you're not involved in security anymore? No, I'm a, I'm a security consultant. Right. And uh, oh, it's opened up. It's just opened up the whole world for me, Tony. Well, where have you been consulting? Oh, I've to? been consulting. Uh, I did some work in uh, the States. Uh, they, uh, you probably haven't heard of it, but uh, it was called the Branch Davidian Sect. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I've been doing some work in Bosnia. Yeah, right. That was uh, a bit tricky, but I've got my trickiest, most dangerous assignment uh, of all at the moment, Tony. And what's that one, Pick? It's a place called King Street, Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the old rules, they hold good. The old rules hold... The old rules the hold good. Do the old ways still hold firm? The old ways, Tony, hold good. And what are the old ways? The old rule is, and it's the old way as well, yeah. there is no problem that three good men and five dogs can't handle. <laughs> <laughs> good fight. I think they should... I think they're doing some good things in Melbourne. The, the secu security cameras at the MCG, I thought, were very good. Right. But they need adaption. They need adaption? Yes, they need to be armed, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> armed? Armed, yes. Not lethal, just some sort of mild anaesthetic. <laughs> to keep the people quiet. Right. To keep them in the same place mm. until the dogs get there. <laughs> Right, okay. You don't think that's a bit drastic and a bit archaic, do you, Pig? I thought you were going to say it's a bit molly-coddling. <laughs> no, I don't think it's molly-coddling. No, a lot of people do say the lethal is the way to go. No, no, I don't think... <laughs> Surely the goodness people having a bit of fun and moving about at the cricket doesn't require a lethal... Event. Well, that's exactly the sort of attitude that's put us in the position we're in, Tony. Okay, all right, Pig. <laughs> well, look, thank you, uh, thank you for that advice. We shall look forward to King Street... Um, being, uh, well, coming under your very, uh, very good care. No doubt with the Grand Prix coming up, we don't want to have any problems whatsoever. No, no, no we don't. It's <laughs> yeah, good, just... good to hear from an international court. Go ahead, please. You're talking to Tony. Hello. Yes, hello. Yeah, hello. 
Oh, don't tell me we've lost oh, another we've, caller. We've lost that line again. We'll go. Just we'll skip to the next one. Next uh, caller, go ahead, please. Hello. No. I think they're all coming through. Mm, no. Are Ron, they coming Ron's through? giving one? me hand signals. What's happening, Ron? Are you getting, getting that one back or we move to the next one? Right, OK. Oh, OK. All right. Well, we'll, we'll, Ron we'll just put up his whole hand, which means pad for five seconds. I could count them down for you, if you like. Four, no, three, I think, I think you're probably, two, one. I think Go ahead, please. You're talking to Tony. Hello. I've been here all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? It's Barry here, Tony. Oh, good evening, Barry. How are you? And I just thought I was talking to Kim. Mm -hmm. And Kim said, oh, they're having a bit of problem with the phones tonight. Mm. Why don't we ring up and pretend that we've got a problem and watch poor old Tony flounder? <laughs> <laughs> and oh, we've been chuckling to ourselves. Ah, uh, the milk of human kindness to the very last, Barry. Thank you very much for well, that. Well, I'll tell you how kind we are, Tony. Yes, well, how kind are you, Barry? Kim and I? Yes. Our bottling, yeah. a special, yeah. could have been commemorative Crucian Columbard Moselle. Right. <laughs> I couldn't find anything else. It started with C. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very nice. And it's it? expected to be... Your loss is going to be expected to be so badly felt, Tony. Yes. That we've bottled a half a dozen. <laughs> 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 one for each of you and one for the lucky person who listens, Tony. Uh, well, more than one person listens, Barry. Oh, who, Stuart Littlemore? <laughs> that Philistine? You don't want... At, yeah. least, at least Paul Murphy's on SBS, Tony. <laughs> where all the good programs are. <laughs> right. Look, thank you very much for that, Barry, and... Uh, no doubt we'll be able to do it. And just, just the spark, you've, you've been one of the great innovators. We didn't know anything about sparkling port, but I think the Australian wine industry is, is far the richer for your involvement in it. And and you can, I, the, can I tell you yeah? that Kim and I are delighted about Scott Hodges being redrafted by the Adelaide Ravens, Tony. The Adelaide Crow. Yes, the Ravens, Tony. Yes. Because we can now bring our Hodges hock back but, out of the cellar. Can I, can I just say, uh, one thing is just a uh, hock. Hock, Tony. Hock. Hock was something my sister drank in the mid sixties when she went to Berkey's and the No, thing. but she would have had hock, lime and lemon on. Uh, hock, lime and lemon. <laughs> How have you been able to hang on to those barrels of hock for thirty years? Well we had to go into hock to do so, Tony. <laughs> okay. okay. Now, Tony? Yes, Barry. I just want to tell the listeners around Australia that despite your disappearance from the airway, Yes. We will still continue with our project of painting you for the Archibald Prize. <laughs> okay, good fine. Thank you for that, Barry. And Kim and I have enjoyed your program, but you should have had more culture and opera. Well, who, know, who knows what will appear. But, Barry, look, I think we, we should leave it there. And uh, no doubt the Crucian Columbard... Uh, uh, Moselle. Moselle. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll make a tasty treat perhaps next Sunday night. Mm. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. Thank you for your, okay. well, your wonderful support. We'll leave that caller there for and, the last uh, five and years. Mo move to the next. Uh, to, uh, Ronnie, we go to the next caller now. Go ahead, please. You're talking to Tony on Sunday night talk back with the Good Hello. Yes, hello, Tony. Yes, who's this? Tony, it's Stan oh, from Stratbroke Island. Tony. Stan, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, Tony. Yes. My friends know me as Stan the st Stan the Statistician. Statistician. That's oh, it. I said it, Tony. You did, after all. You stand as lovely. I just wrote it down when I said it. 858. 848. 848 on the 31st, the 12th, 31st. So back to you, Tony. Yes, Stan. Tony? Yes. I just wrote that in my violent exercise book marked M for momentous moments in my life. Oh, right, OK. Now, Tony? Yes, Stan. I want to talk to you about facts and figures, Tony. Right, Stan. And what is it? I want to address this to Mark Taylor, the captain of Australia, Tony. Mm hmm. When he was captaining Australia in the Boxing Day Test, Tony, yep. he should have declared at lunch on the second day. And why was that, Stan? Because the score, Tony, yeah. was four for 321. Right. Well, so what? Write that down, Tony. Four for 321. You're four, three, two, one. Yes, Tony. <laughs> it was in descending order. I've not seen a score like that at a lunch break on the second day of the Boxing Day Test ever, Tony. Well, Stan, can I trump you? Yes, Tony. At T, do you know what Australia's score was? No, Tony. 456. Yes, Tony. But I think that might have been for five. <laughs> See, it wasn't worth writing down in my book. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you something else, Tony. What's that, Stan? Well, he did decide to bat on. Yeah. He should have kept going. Why? Well, for a little while, anyway. Why is that? Because, Tony, did you realise that one wicket fell in the first section? Yeah. One wicket fell in the second session? Yeah. One wicket fell in the third session? Right. 
So what were they by stumps on the first day? Three. Well Stan. done, Tony. Thank you, Stan. I don't believe any of those jokes about you being poor at maths. Right. Now, Tony, <laughs> yes, on Stan. the second day, yep. a wicket fell before lunch to make it four for 321. That's right. And just what I thought they perhaps should declare because it was such a nice descending numerical proposition. Yep. I thought, no, huh, there's been one wicket a session. Perhaps there'll be another wicket in this session. Right. And Tony? Yeah. There was. Right. They were five down at T. For 456. After T, Tony? Yes. A wicket fell. Right. Made them six for 500. That's right. There'd been one wicket in the session. Yes, Stan. Should they have batted on, or was the risk too great of a second wicket falling in that session and therefore ruining that lovely one wicket per session routine? I, I, I think the six for 500 may have been enough, Stan, but I'm not sure. Mm. Oh. Anyway, I enjoyed it, Tony. Well, well that's terrific, Stan. You, you, live, you live a... You live a warm and wonderful and enriched life, Stan. Thank you, Tony. And thanks, thanks for your call, because you've shared those uh, statistics with all of Australia oh. tonight, and that's great. That's and, uh, one thing I won't miss. And don't... <laughs> that one. Don't sigh like that, because there's more callers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next caller, go ahead, please. You're talking to Tony. Hello. Hello, Tony. Yeah, oh, y yes, go on. It's Alistair here, Tony. Yeah, hello, Alistair. How are you? I'm very, very happy indeed. Oh, about what? Well, joy to the world and happy every Noel and everything, and I'm... Uh, well, Tony, I, I knew you fellas. Well, I, you, I, I knew you had it coming, Tony. Yeah, well, <laughs> it, well, eventually all of us have it coming. Yes, but you, you, you boys were on thin ice in 1989. In 1989, we only just started. Why were we on thin ice? Well, then? you started well. Too many, too many jokes. Start a bit. Too much fun. You're having too much fun on air. Yeah. Not <laughs> enough. Stodginess. <laughs> have we got a, have we got the right amount of stodginess now? Well, back in Yorkshire, you don't have this kind of radio, Tony. I applaud ABC decision myself. <laughs> right. Yeah, I could. And uh, as far as that last caller goes, Tony, yeah. six for five hundred. Never, ever, ever declared it such a lowly total. <laughs> right. Bat on. Bat on. Turn heat up. Turn the heat up. Put screws in, Tony. <laughs> Six or five hundred. I think the screws are well and truly applied. Oh, nothing yard shit, Tony. Okay, good, fine. Thank you very much, Alistair. There, yeah, what do I mean? Um, very much. Bat what I mean. on. Get off. Is what I mean. Is that it, Ronnie? <laughs> no. Paula, <laughs> go ahead, please. Hello. Good day, mate. Who's this? It's John Farnham. G'day, John, how are you? <laughs> There's not as much <laughs> in your voice tonight. Oh, it's a sad night, mate. No, really. No, well... We, we, I, I, I sincerely, mate, I, I just want to say that the last seven years... Yeah. ...they've been good to me in the industry, and, well, Glenn and I discussed this today as, as we rode our quarter horses around the property. Right, <laughs> yes. We looked at each other, and, and Glenn nearly fell off when I said... The Coulda Beans are the best broadcasters in the land. Oh, John, that's too kind. But, but mate, mate, really sincerely, yeah. on behalf of Glenn, myself, yeah. Yeah. Gaynor, yeah. The Bride, yeah. everyone else is saying... Robbie. Robbie. Yeah. I don't like mentioning him on air anymore, mate. <laughs> no, I know you don't. I know you've been warned off about that. Mushroom <laughs> Records, Apple, from the start, from Ron Tudor, from Fable, on the Fable label. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> To my guitarist mate, Sammy C, uh, who wrote Reasons on the Whispering Jack album. Uh, no, mate, really. Sincerely. I sincerely want to say... Really? Really, mate. No, really. Sincerely. I want to know. On be, and even Molly would agree with me on this one, mate. What's that? Forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> 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 no, you blokes are fun, mate. I really love you. Um, now, now, look... I was Australian of the Year in 88. That's right. <laughs> Actually, now, you've talked about yourself from here <laughs> for the last minute and a half. But, mate, my start was rocky, and, and I peaked I peaked too early with Sadie, I know that. <laughs> right. <laughs> but then then, then I, I went onto the stage, mate, and I, I, did, I did the boards, I tread the boards, and I, I was at a crossroads then. Yeah. No, really, and so... What was the show again, John? Well, I, I, that's where I met the bride, Charlie Girl, mate. Yeah. A and can I just... I, I've never said this to anyone before except the bride. We were backstage after the show, a and I'm going to say... I'm going to have to add one word on to the end of it, mate. Right. Um, and this is what I said to her, and, and it's to do with you, and, and just listen for the one word at the end. Right. And, and this is what I said to Julie, plus one word. Right. All right? Yes. <laughs> I love you, blokes. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. No, mate, sincerely. Minute to nine. The industry is going to be a lot worse. <laughs> Can I just say, on behalf of myself and the bride, yes. and to everyone that's bought my CDs, <laughs> yes. we are all going to miss you, mate. Mate, really. And 
See you, mate. Uh, thanks, <laughs> thanks very much. Well, that's a very touching tribute uh, to, it, to you there from, from Jack. And uh, I'm told by Ron we've still got a lot of callers waiting on the line. So we'll, we'll go to the 9 o'clock news now, Tony, and... Uh, We'll come back and uh, clean up a bit more talk back before uh, Greg and Sam come back and stick a bit more after the news. So okay. get your breath. You're listening to the Could Have Been Champions on ABC Radio, our final program of a Sunday night coming to you live from the rooftop here at ABC South Bank in Melbourne. Time for the 9 o'clock news and we'll be back. Ah, sincerely. Sincerely. You're back with the Could Have Been Champions doing our, our ultimate show, as someone said earlier tonight. <laughs> Live from the rooftop of ABC South Bank. But, uh, of course, if you've been listening to the show over the last seven years, normally we don't talk during this 60 seconds between the end of the top of the clock. The weather comes on. I'm working well tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're, we're actually... I'm, I feel as if we're front row at the Rudy Hill RSL. <laughs> well, you know, that's one of my favourite venues. I know. Yeah, I'm getting more laughs here on the airwaves than I do there, quite okay. frankly. Right, okay. <laughs> but I just want to say to all those people out there who listen to the Coulda Beans, yep. I, on behalf of you blokes, I just want to say my book and CDs are still available at all good records. Thanks a lot for joining us, Kabbalah. It is tremendous to have somebody of your stature lending your time to be part of our program. <laughs> Look, we've got a, just a... Uh, uh, we'll, we'll go to the next one now. Okay. Uh, you're talking to Tony. Hello. Hello, Tony. Yes, who's this? It is Yaroslav calling you. Hello, Yaroslav. How are you? Um, just a minute while I relax a bit. I've been... <laughs> I think you're pretty relaxed at the moment. I'm feeling very fine, but, uh, Tony, mm? the ABC, they haven't rung me... No. ...about the vacancy coming up on Sunday night. No. What are we listening to at the moment, Yaroslav? Good golly, I don't know, but it doesn't sound very new age to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Yaroslav, you've had a laugh. No. <laughs> Tony, yeah. get a hold of yourself. <laughs> right, Yaroslav. Well, forgive me for talking so fast. Yes, I'm sorry. Tony, uh, I've been waiting for the ABC to call. Yep. I've been sitting at home, mm. playing best of Yaroslav's CDs. Yes. Each... CD has yeah. one track only. <laughs> right. Which, uh, which one have you been listening to? Well, I play 20 Spine Tingling Whale songs from Nova Scotia. Yes. Uh, music about crop circles. Yeah. The one that's just called Sun, Sea, Wind, Water and Earth. Right. <laughs> you must cover them all, Yaroslav. And each one goes for about 55 minutes. Right. And then at the end of each track at home, I have uh, rigged up a little microphone and I say, you are listening to Dreamtime. <laughs> right. <laughs> with Yaroslav and now Ulf Untermeyer with, and you know, the next track. And then I rest for 55 minutes. <laughs> waiting for the ABC to call me. Actually... Yaroslav, you used to do a program on ABC FM that went for two hours. That so, is, that, so basically you played two songs and you had three intros. <laughs> Can you just give us the three intros? Or the three intros, outros? Hello, welcome to Dream Time. <laughs> I want you to imagine a candle. Close your eyes, lean back while we play 14th century meditational music from the abbeys of deepest spin. I'll be back in one hour. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's an opening on this, on the ABC for this so, material. So, so after one hour, you would come back and then it's 11 o'clock and you would say? I think you're still a bit tense. <laughs> <laughs> there's more states of realization that you can still achieve. And I'll be back to wind up the program after this one. And what one would you spin in then? Then I would play uh, Guatemalan folk songs play at 33 and a third. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but Tony, the ABC hasn't called, so I guess I'll just be banished to public radio wilderness for another seven years. <laughs> <laughs> we have a pro station called Stardust FM, which I run myself. Yeah. Uh, if you ever want to come on it, uh, please uh, just 
Victor O'Call or Yellow Baby. Yeah. And uh, Tony, uh, in, on Sunday nights in future, yeah. I wish you and the boys the deepest relaxation. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much for that, Yaroslav. And for the final call ever on uh, Tony's Sunday night talkback. Go ahead, please. Hello. Hello, Tony. Yes. It's David Hill here, the former managing director of the oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and let me stress, Tony, former managing director of the <laughs> And how are you uh, feeling tonight, Tony? We're, we're, we're pretty wonderful. Thank you, how Mr Hill. How are you Hill? feeling tonight, you, the, the, the backstabbing bureaucrat, the, the Machiavelli of Melbourne? Oh, yeah, that. The man that undermined me as managing director of the ABC. <laughs> How pleased I am to see you now with a knife in your back, Tony. How do you feel tonight? Tell me, Tony. I feel really good. I've waited almost a year for this. Look, how do you feel? Tell me how I, you feel. I, did, I had nothing to do with your demise. Ah, oh, Tony. No, but you were worse than Keating to Hawk. Oh, had nothing to do with oh, your dismissal. When, when the history books are written. But how do you feel tonight, Tony? Well, it's a sad day, David, isn't it, DH? No, it's not sad. It, for me, it's a happy, happy day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you something. Didn't you take on a good job running soccer in Australia? <laughs> and listen, you blokes were going to come and watch a game of soccer and you haven't fronted. Yeah, well, the only problem is that you will not make Tommy Anderson your number two IC <laughs> insofar as the running of Australian soccer is concerned. A good man, a good man. Now, how's everything going down there at the ASF? Terrific. Now, listen, while waiting to come on and be the last quarter, mm -hmm. I've just been sitting upstairs in my house watching the fireworks over Sydney Harbour, so we're just getting into our celebrations now. I believe they're the... Hey, listen, Tony, believe... on a serious note, it's taken me a long time to forget and forgive you. Yeah. <laughs> and there's going, to be, there's going to be a coup at the ABC. Right. There's going to be a revolution. Yes. And, and when it happens, we want the coulda beans to present nationally the 7.30 report every night on television. <laughs> Uh, so listen, you won't be forgotten. Thanks. You'll be back. Yeah, well, we, we, we may be back another day. I've just got to ask you one thing about the fireworks in Sydney tonight that you're having a look at. I believe they're the best in the world. Of course. Yeah. This is the best city in the world. What a surprise coming from Sydney. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> hey, now, listen, yep. on a serious note, I'm, I am sad, uh, like everybody else, that uh, an exceptional piece of radio is going to end. And uh, I, I, I've... Uh, I promised myself not to make any comments about what happens at the ABC after I've gone, but I, it, it really is a sad occasion, and I think uh, the ABC in Australia is going to be poorer for it. We Have a good new year, we and will. thanks for the fabulous years you gave us all. Well, thank you, David, for, for, for your support, and there's just one thing I'd just like to say to all of Australia now. As many people that might like this program, there's probably equal numbers that dislike it, and David Hill, you are solely responsible for it. <laughs> So don't worry about any of that hate mail in Croatian going to the ASF. Just put it down in plain English and send it to D Hill ASF Sydney if you haven't liked the program. Listen, we'll catch up with you soon, David, for a game of soccer. Hey, listen, look, there, was, there, are, there are some good soccer games in, in Melbourne, so I hope you can get... Now you're not there. On, and they're played on a Sunday night. Yes. <laughs> so now, now, now you're... Uh, you know, before you turn up at the CES on Monday morning, yeah. I'll shout you a ticket to a soccer match in Melbourne. Well, it's the truth be known that had you been running the ABC, a oh, year of little faith, I believe there was going to be a lot of Wollongong Wolves playing the Newcastle Breakers on Sunday night in our place anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Which you would dearly have loved to have heard or seen. No, nah, terrible rumour. Have a good New Year. OK, all the best, David Hill, and thank you See very ya. much. Format supremo of the ABC. And, uh, Jeff, I think that is... That's it. And uh, that was the last caller, and that's that's it for Talkback. Well done, Tony. You fielded calls for uh, nearly an hour. Uh, nearly an hour. And uh, you, you, did, you did it very, very nice. Look, I think well it's done. time... Front door, a suitcase in her hand. Say goodbye to your sister. Say goodbye to your old man. Say goodbye to your mother who raised you so well. Yeah, you're almost growing up now, Louise. Now she smokes too many cigarettes. And she always changes her mind Now she's going overseas She's gonna leave us all behind Well, Godspeed, 
little sister We're all jealous of you Yeah, you're almost growing up now, Louise She's been working away Saving her pay And everybody's heard about Louise's holiday Like a bird of the spring Who is ready to fly Well, it's your time to go now Goodbye, Louise, goodbye And she's standing at the front door While the car waits outside Turn around, hurry on, Louise Don't make your mother cry Godspeed, little sister, we're all jealous of you Yeah, you're almost growing up now the front door while the car waits outside turn around say goodbye Louise before your mother cries Godspeed little sister we'll be here when you call yeah you're almost growing up now Playing kick to kick at the tram stop You can get in trouble for that In fact, you can get arrested for that Oh no you can You can get arrested for that So you should You can get a, you can get a sleeping until 10 in the morning Losing your socks on a visit to the laundry Breaking into people's houses and robbing their stuff they're not big reps with that no. And wandering round the house with your clothes off Complaining at the table that you didn't get enough Well eat up all your veggies cause you know if you don't That is a serious offence In fact, you can get arrested for that Oh no you can You can get arrested for that So you should You can get a you can get a, and when you're cruising on your Sunday drive, keep a look out for the long arm of the Lord. They are there to catch you if you go astray. That's what they've got those long arms for. And Purchasing a Billy Ray Cyrus record <laughs> Crossing at the lights when the little person's flashing Breaking into people's houses and robbing their stuff Well, don't get caught doing that Tell you what happens You can get arrested 
arrested for that Oh no you can't You can get arrested for that Oh no you can't You can get a You can get a You can get arrested for that Oh no you can't You can get arrested for that I know you can You can get a You can get a You can get arrested for that Oh Sam C <laughs> over the past seven years. Paul and Rod, stay where you are and join us on singing this final song with champs. One, a two, a one, two, three, four. We were playing footy for the could have been in a annual match against Tullamarine. We were getting flogged. Things were pretty crook. When someone yelled out Take a, a good, good hard look. look. Here we go. Oh, yeah, we TTC. Turn, Turn the corner. At RHG. A red arc go. Now we OTFG. Open the floodgates. We got the IT. Back in town. Now we LOG. Lifted our game. Took a good hard look at ourselves. And now the coach came out. O-U-T. He said to J-G. Just going. He made a BS. Big statement. Said it's a WNBG. Whole new ball game. Your LTB. Looking down the barrel. Take a G-H-L-A-Y. Yeah, we TTC. Turn the corner. Had an RHG. A red hot go. We OTFG. Open the floodgates. We got the BIT. Back in town. Now we STD. Spat the dummy. Took a good hard look at ourselves. My game had been bad. B-A-B. -B. that had an A-S. Absolute shocker. The coach pulled me out. O-U-T. Said I had an A-B. Attitude problem. Said your D-Y-B. Dropped your bundle. And take a G-H-L-A-Y. Yeah, we T-T-C. Turned the corner. Had an R-H-G. A red hot go. A T-C-A-P. Through the cat amongst the pigeons. We got B-I-T. Back in town, now we STD, spat the dummy, took a good hard look at ourselves, the coach turned to me, M-E, said I don't want to N-N, name names, I don't want to P-T-F, point the finger, I don't want to D-O-I, dwell on individuals, <laughs> I don't want to S-A-O, single anyone out, but Y-K-W-Y-A, you know who you Turn the corner, had an RHG, a red hot go, a BMSB, very much so Bobby, we got the BIT, back in town, now we STD, spat the dummy, took a good hard look at ourselves, now we were H and H, home and host, it was an HHG, happy hunting ground, we got BTB, Back to basics. We were OTGs. Ornaments to the game. We TNFS. Thrust, Thrust our names in front of the selectors. IGBGO. I better get on with it. <laughs> and took a good hard look at ourselves. We gave it EPC. Every possible chance. You HTBT. Had to be there. We had an RHG. A red hot go. And took a good Well done, champs, and thanks to Sam C. And it's pretty much time for us to say goodbye. It's good night to Rod from Lynham, who our listeners in Canberra can hear Between every night. Between 7 and 10 uh, from the 15th of January. And thanks for being with us this last six and a half years, Rod. It's been my pleasure, and thanks for giving me a chance. And if anyone I'm anywhere in uh, radio, it's because of you guys. <laughs> and good night again to Paul Harris. For the final time, cheers. <laughs> good night to Ian Cover. Yes, good night, Richo. And, uh, well... As of next Sunday night, uh, the ABC gets the man in. <laughs> <laughs> and it's good night to Greg Champion. See you later, and if I can make one plea, get rid of the carrot sandwiches, will you? <laughs> and, and good night to Tony Leonard. Yeah, thanks everyone. And just quickly, we would like to thank management for supporting us over the last few years. Artists who've come in and given their times, our producers, Andrew, Ron and Chris. But above all, you the listeners, because you are the ones who have driven the show. And we thank you for your inspiration that got us here this far. And it's good night from me, Jeff Richardson. As always, thanks for listening.